How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another Emily of the Show 23 Franchise Revealing Challenge. So we're doing another one of those uh, 160-0 break records, win a World Series. But we're doing the AL versus NL because we're doing two players. I did the MVPs. Now we're doing the Cy Youngs from last season. So Justin Verlander on the Astros. Obviously he's on the Mets now. Put him back in the Astros. So he's the AL Cy Young, reigning AL Cy Young. And we got the reigning NL Cy Young winner from the Marlins, Danny Alcantara. So we're going to be doing them and seeing which one of those teams can maybe win a World Series, potentially meet up together. Who knows? Bro, that should be fun. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, enjoy the content. Comment down below this video. We've got a socials playlist, second channel, main channel, down in the description. If you like the economy, DJP. Let me know who else we should put together, ver the, this player for that player. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, with that being said, Let's get on with the gameplay. All right, so we are in the game. Let's take a look here. So as you can see, we're both the Astros and the Marlins. And if you guys want to see the rosters, there's Justin Verlander right there. And then there's Sandy Alcantara right there. Everybody else is zero overall, like per usual. We're going to see if either one of them can award World Series by themselves. It should be fun. I guess hypothetically speaking, though, I mean, every time we do these videos, it's like, oh, the team with the one player winning by themselves, technically, they're playing against really nobodies. And then they have a team and nobody. So really, they should be able to... Well, I don't know. Either way. I, <laughs> I'm just I'm just speaking at this point. Uh, but it should be good. It could be, it could be interesting. So we'll, we'll stick with the Astros. I don't think we're going to go 160 with either team. But we're going to see if both of them can make it to the postseason. Potentially meet up. It should be interesting stuff. So uh, let's just simulate and see what ends up happening. Uh, so we'll start off with looking at just the... Uh, Houston Astros. Then once we get to the All-Star break, we'll skip over to the Marlins. And yeah, who do you think is going to win this battle? Who's going to have better stats? Uh, let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win. Is it going to be Verlander? Is it going to be Sandy Alcantara? Let me know. Uh, one thing I do know is Verlander will probably regress throughout the season a little bit just because of his age. Alcantara probably will get better as the season goes on since he's not too old. So... There's that. But we'll see what ends up happening here. We're at the All-Star break. Justin Verlander, 55 and 36 is what the Astros are. We're going to stop simulating right after this game. AL beat the NL. So 55 and 36 is what the Astros are. Let's take a look at the Marlins. Marlins, 51 and 41. So not as good. But I imagine both guys are still doing pretty good. And Justin Verlander actually has two losses. Which is interesting. Yeah, he's already down to 89. But he is 15 and 2, 202 strikeouts, 0.33 ERA. Uh, he's only allowed one home run, six earned runs, 54 hits. Uh, so, I mean, he's, he's been playing well. He's been playing well. 15 shutouts as well. Every, every time he wins, it's just, you know, it's because of a shutout. As for Mr. Sandy Alcantara, he is 17 and 1 with a 0.27 ERA, 0.59 whip. 178 strikeouts, uh, four walks, no home runs allowed. So he's also pitching really well, too. Uh, okay. So far, though, the Astros just a bit better. But we'll see what ends up happening. Both of them should be able to make the postseason. Actually, the Marlins went on a pretty ugly stretch to baseball there. And it's kind of falling through a little bit. It's still going. But let's see if they can maybe alleviate that and maybe win some games second half of the season now. Um, and hopefully make the postseason. They got a nice big win streak there. See if they get back on the win column. Uh, they are taking some L's, though. Uh, and there you go. Getting some wins here and there. Some L's, some wins. Are they going to be good enough to make the postseason? Really? They're only 81-75. So they really need to win. They need to win out. And they're not winning out. And they... Okay, 89-73. The Ashes won the division. And uh, Taylor won the Waka player game. The Marlins, 83 and 79, made it as a wild card team. Take on the Cubs. So, a little bit of a weak season there from Alcantara's team. Uh, but they were still able to make it. And the, you know, the Astros, those Rockies won 100 games. That's insane. I don't know if they signed anybody, but the Astros, 89 wins. So, there's that. And they do get a buy, so they're automatically the ALDS. So let's see what ends up happening. Uh, well, let's take a look at the pitching rotation. Sandy Alcantara ended up going 26-4. and four. Pretty good. 317 strikeouts, 0.22 ERA, 0.52 whip. Uh, again, 26-4, 140 hits allowed, 7 earned runs. I mean, he was good. 22 shutouts, 24 complete games, 10, 10 strikeouts per 9. That's pretty good as well. 
And if we take a look at, um, I didn't want to do that. If we take a look at the Astros here, we'll just skip that. So just Verlander, 25 and 2, 0 0.52, 0 0.44 ERA, uh, whip, 0.52 ERA, 370, 244 strikeouts. So, I mean, he also pitched really well, gave a little less hits. Uh, I mean, yeah, both of them really good. I mean, he is down to an 83 overall now, which is uh, pretty insane. So there's that. Um, yeah, a lot of regression because he's 40. So, I mean, it makes sense. Whereas, you know, Sandy Alcantara is 27. So he went up to a 94. We'll see what ends up happening. Obviously, the Marlins in the uh, wild card. Uh, so we'll kind of follow them first. But league leaders, you're going to see Sandy Alcantara leading, leading the way in a bunch of categories. And if we look at the Astros... They're going to be leading in a bunch of categories as well, but we'll go through each one and uh, just take a look at the injury list. Nothing really matter there. And I just want to get rid of the uh, explanation points. All right. So if we look at the Marlins awards, starting from the Marlins, Sandy Alcantara, Cy Young, and MVP. Uh, both awards that we expected them to get. Uh, and also Gold Glove. So that's pretty cool. I uh, don't know if that means uh, Justin Verlander will get a Gold Glove, but let's find out. Uh, Cy Young, MVP, that makes sense. Did he get a gold glove? He did not get a gold glove. So, Sandy Alcantara with a gold glove. So, just one extra award. Maybe that makes him slightly better. Who knows? But, regardless, Astros already in the ALDS. So, already further than the Marlins. So, let's see if they can beat the Cubs here. I mean, they're gonna, they should be able to win game one. And they do 8 nothing. Perfect game? No. Game two, they lose. And do or die game three, they got to win this, and they don't. So basically, Sandy Alcantara can't lead his team out of the wild card. And that's not even his fault. It's mostly the pitching. And the hitting was just not good enough. So yeah, I mean, that's tough, man. That's tough. So the Marlins are out. The Astros are taking on the Orioles here in the ALDS. So let's see what ends up happening here. Game one, Houston wins. Game two, Houston wins. Game three, they lose. Game four, they win. So they're going to the ALCS, take on the Guardians of the Red Sox. And it's going to be the Red Sox. Game one is a win. Game two is a loss. Game three is a loss. Game four is a loss. Okay, so now they're down 3-1. They're going to win game five. 7 nothing, On the back of Verlander. They got to win two straight game, uh, two other games right here. Can they do it? They win game six with a shutout. Shout out to the Joe Randoms. Game seven to go to the World Series, and they will be going to the World Series to take on the Rockies, who are the best team in the MLB, as you guys saw. Now, I don't know if they signed anybody. I had to double check. Uh, did the Rockies sign anybody interesting? Or were they just that good? No, they're just that good, huh? All right. So here we go. Um... Uh, Houston's in Houston's in the World Series. I mean, they, they did their job. They're going to win game one by 4-2. Uh, to two. Game two, they lose. Game three, they lose. Game four, they lose. Game five, they win. So can they win two straight? Game six, Joe Random versus Joe Random, and they lose 3-2. to two. So, uh, and that's unfortunate. That is super-duper unfortunate. They lost 3-2. to two. So, Sandy Alcantara couldn't get out of the wild card. Uh, and the Astros lose in six in the World Series. Take it as you may. I mean, if we look at the awards, um, Joe Randoms, of course. I mean, if we look at the pitching stats, how did Justin Verlander do? I mean, he was he was great. 3-0, 1.22 ERA. I mean, he was solid. I mean, we look at Sandy Alcantara. We saw how he pitched in the postseason in his one start. He was really good, so... This, this team didn't go as far, far, so. I don't know. Who do you guys think was better? Was it Justin Verlander? Was it Sandy Alcantara? Let me know down in the comments below uh, who won this battle of the Cy Youngs. But I guess with that all being said and uh, brushed to the side, let's go on to the full screen and close of the video. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like on the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment down below some more video ideas. We've got our socials, playlist, second channel, main channel down in the description. If you do like other kinds of TJP. And yeah, I didn't look at... Uh, I actually didn't even look to see if anybody threw a perfect game. Not going to look for that. Perfect games, no hitters. We 
We know it's possible. We've seen it before. Uh, but regardless, I'm going to head on out. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Peace.